Okay, to make homemade um, laundry detergent, you're gonna need some borax, some Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda, you'll need a bar of Fells Naphtha or Zote Soap, whichever one you can find. So, here is the process. Okay, once you've got all your ingredients, you wanna get a big pot and you wanna put water in it, fill it about halfway full because you have to pour all of the ingredients in it and you need room. Get a smaller pot because you have to melt the uh, uh, Fells Naphtha in there. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, you're gonna need two cups of the Arm & Hammer and you're going to pour it in your bowl. Then you're also gonna need two cups of the borax and you are going to also pour that in the bowl as well. Stir around and make sure it's all mixed. With the Fells Napa, then you're gonna to want to grate it. You can do half a bar or the entire bar, that's up to you. Uh, sometimes I do one or the other. I, it doesn't really matter, depending on how uh, clean you want your clothes to be. I'm just gonna grate it into the same cup I used earlier. Okay, so here is the grated Fells naphtha, and then once my water starts boiling in the small pot, I am going to pour it in there. Okay, now that the water is boiling, I am going to pour my uh, Fells naphtha in there. I did the whole bar, so there you go, and I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna stir it around until it is melted. I'm still melting um, the Fells Napta, it is getting done pretty quick. The water will be yellow if you're using Zote soap. The water will probably be pink because the, the uh, soap is pink. I do wanna note that you wanna make sure that uh, the soap is completely melted or you have chunks. So I'm still melting just down to the last few little pieces or chunks of the soap because it kinda goes together, melts together. Okay, now my water is boiling and we are going to pour all of the powdered um, ingredients into the, um, into the boiling water. So hold on, I'm getting it done. All right, I'm pouring it all in to the boiling water. All right. Okay, so now I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit. I'm gonna let it boil here for a few minutes. And my Fels Napta is uh, almost completely melted. So I'm going to pour that in after this is uh, boiled here just for a couple minutes. Okay, this has been boiling for a few minutes and I think all of the powder has been dissolved. So what I'm going to do next is uh, my melted Fels Napta. I am going to pour it in to this here and then I'm gonna let it boil for probably another few minutes, bring it to another boil, and oh, well, it's already boiling. Okay, let it boil up for just a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna be pouring it in my five gallon bucket. Okay, I'm stirring my mixture, and it has been boiling for just a couple of minutes. So then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put it in this five gallon bucket um, I'm going to put a little bit of water, just some cold water in there, and then I'm going to pour the hot, this hot mixture on top, and then fill the rest of the bucket filled with water. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the really hot stuff, I'm going to pour this five gallon bucket, there's water already in there just so I don't want to burn anything or anybody. I'm going to fill it up, it smells really good. Okay, so next thing is you want to do is kind of stir it all together and then you're going to fill the bucket uh, to the top with more water and just stir it and you're just going to have to let it cool down for it's going to take several hours to cool down and just keep stirring it. It will kind of turn like a jelly kind of consistency. You just stir it, stir it, stir it. Even if it's a jelly, you stir it and it becomes a little more liquidy. Uh, it'll be a thick, thicker liquid. So that's... All right, this is what it looks like when it is filled to the top. And you're just gonna have to keep stirring it. Um, I would just stir it every so often and it helps it to cool down as well. And it takes a while. You can actually even use it right now if you wanted, but um, you can wait till it cools down. Like I said, it might be a jelly consistency. Just stir it and it'll be fine.